And hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuisa Lovilagazi and thank you so much for taking your time to join me. So I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because um, I'm thinking that obviously um, I've been reviewing The Real Housewives of Dubai episode 1. Probably I'd have an audience of people from different countries and they'd be like, okay, this thick accent and his name is very different. Is he from Dubai? No, 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 I'm not from Dubai. But listen... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you some a little bit of introduction of who, who I am, who I am, right? So listen, I am Buisolo Villegas, as I've said, I'm from South Africa. Um, and also guys, please, I've never seen a lion in my life. I'm 25, I've never seen a lion in my entire life. And I don't even think I've seen a giraffe. But I've seen a Gucci store, but I've seen a Louis Vuitton store. So more than I've seen... Um, the things that people, when, when you say you're from Africa, that's what they think. I've never seen all, all of those things. Um, and also, um, you're like, oh my God, he's reviewing the house I have to buy. What about the poverty in Africa? <laughs> Listen, South Africa um, is a very self-sufficient country. There is poverty just like any other country. I'm just addressing these things because I'm sure also some people, when they when they watch the, 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 the house I have to buy, we have a lot of misconceptions as, as human beings. So now having such shows help us to dispel um, and to let go of those um, stereotypes and misconceptions that people have. So I wanted to start up with misconceptions about me as an African um, young man, okay? So now I'm reviewing The Real Housewives of Dubai. We've been all waiting for it, right? You've been all anticipating for The Housewives of because you know Dubai is all about money. That's the city of money, of, you know, um, opulence, you understand? And this is where uh, where people go there to really thrive. And it's really that someone goes to Dubai and they do not thrive. So now, let's get into it. Um, Bravo outdid themselves. Um, you know, it, it's so beautiful. The, the editors, even though it's, at some point it felt like I'm watching... Um, like a, a normal television series, you know. Um, but listen, the production was OTT over to the top, okay? Uh, let's start reviewing certain things. Firstly, I told you Dubai is all about, we all think money, we all think gold, you understand, in Dubai. And I think the show is able to give us that. But more than people, there are people, it's not more than about money. More than the city that has lights, the city just doesn't sleep, but there are people. And I think the show wants to display the people in Dubai and the culture about Dubai. And also, we have a lot of misconceptions about the city, right? Okay. Now, also, what I like about the show is diversity. This is a show I've never seen. I've never seen such a very diverse cast in my entire life. Um, yo, most races... Um, are, are, are represented. I would like to refer to the people who are there as races or ethnic groups. I don't know how to put it. Um, if they, if it was in South Africa, I would say races. Now, um, let's get on to another aspect that the series is also educational in a in a way. Well, teaching people like myself about opulence, <laughs> because there was a, a time um, Caroline Brooks was was walking with her stilettos in the yard in my country. We would say the yard. So she was walking in the yard. Um, there, there was a hen party, and they were like, "I remove your, remove um your stilettos." And I was, I was wondering, Ibo, is it because in probably a cult, a Dubai, Dubai culture? Um, and then I found out, no, 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 it's not. By the way, it's because your stilettos could actually damage the yard. Okay, so now also one thing that I love about the show that black women are portrayed, portrayed. In a very successful manner sometimes we all yes there will be the yelling and the what but this is a show that we see black women they are successful they they've lived this some of them have left their countries they've come to dubai they are prospering they are pioneering they are avant-garde in their industries i love that about them also one thing about the show is that it's also going to teach us about um, the culture of Dubai and there are many things that were raised in the show that I'm like mm. so for example the issue of alcohol it's not available everywhere um, in my country South Africa it's it's a third world country but I mean alcohol is everywhere in every corner of the street and also the fact that those women in the show are friends they've known each other even prior to the recording because most of these shows um, especially housewives they try to make a same you know 
they take this that woman and that woman and they put them together they don't know each other but those women they know each other and i think that is interesting okay now let's get i want to speak about each person in the in the in the in, in the fray in the series and we'll get on to it right and yeah number one i'll start with lisa lisa is an amazing person she's so beautiful that i must say so now her, her issue is that she's between um she has to deal with um chanel ayan and she has to deal with um caroline brooks because they're all her friends and i also think stanberry is also her friend but one thing about lisa she's beautiful she's a Jama she was born in jamaica if i'm not mistaken and she she was living in miami and she met her husband and they moved to dubai and she's doing very well for herself my favorite part about lisa is when lisa it was very hot in dubai apparently it's very hot then so now she ordered ice for her swimming pool i was like now that's elite okay so now that's elite and now the the ice was costing um one um 1200 us dollars um and in my in my currency that is um that is eighteen thousand rents and above but I, I i if it's in this if it's in the dubaian currency then not bad because in south africa i as my, as far as i remember our currency was much bigger than the the the, um, the 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 currency that is used there in that city okay so now let's also get into caroline stanberry caroline stanberry oh also by the way ulisa we must not forget that lisa is a is a fashion is a fashion designer and a stylist she's styled katy perry Beyonce and other people. Okay, now Caroline Stanberry. Caroline Stanberry. Some people who are Bravo, uh, you know, Bravo. I don't know in my language. In course, for in, in fact, the Amachanti is Yoka Bravo. You know the enthusiast <laughs> in Bravo. So they will remember her from the Ladies of London. She was born in the UK in London, and um, now she's married to to say Sergio Sergio Carallo. So um, who was um uh, who's a former Real Madrid uh, soccer player. He retired. He's very young. I think he's twenty five, and he's tw twenty years younger than um Caroline Stanberry. He retired because he went to study marketing and things like that. Oh well, the show is great marketing for him. Okay, now also right now, now my fav in the show is Chanel Ayan. Chanel Ayan, um, she is from if she's from Kenya, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I'm I hope I'm gonna get it right. If she's not, she's must be from Kenya. I don't think Ethiopia, but I, I'm not sure. But I think she's from Kenya. I don't know why did I forgot to vet, to check that, but um. You know, um, she's she's for me she's the moment, she's the moment. Her introduction was the best thing that we've seen ever. You know, in a in a in a reality show franchise, Chanel. That was amazing, and because she was in, she was introducing herself in different languages, you understand, and that was amazing. And one thing I I think from that Ch Chanel is gonna be the breakout star of this show because she's she's got a very unique beauty. That it's rare to see a black woman who's beautiful like that, you know, and that African natural beauty. She's so beautiful. And I think she's gonna be the breakout star and her voice, everything about her. <sighs> I don't know, but she's she's the moment, you know, and she's gives she gives me a black Barbie, you know, kind of vibe. And she's a diva. She's a she's a first black supermodel in Dubai. You understand? Now, also, I think I want to see how her relationship with Stanberry and her relationship with Caroline Brooks, because you see that they they don't like each other. Um, the the you know especially um you know and Chanel is there in the middle. Okay, now another person that I'd like to speak about is Caroline Brooks. Caroline Brooks is also beautiful. Um, and oh by the way, one thing about Chanel that I love is especially as an African as someone from Africa is the fact that she was able to go into Dubai and make a name for herself. That's amazing. Now Caroline Brooks. Caroline Brooks is so beautiful. She's into real estate. Um she is a mother and she lost everything in her divorce and was left with her name, you know, and and her child. And now she's building up again. She's you know, she's she, she's building an empire. I love this about black women being shown as powerful, you know, as forces, not even just black women, just women in general, but especially as black people, because we were previously disadvantaged, you understand. Now let us move to Nina Ali. Nina was born in Lebanon and she was raised in Texas and now she's in dubai and um i don't know I, I i still want to see more about her my 
<clears throat> I don't know. My reservation about her is when when she said, um, yeah, we, we, I know you've, you've heard about Dubai and whatnot, but you might you must come to Dubai. Dubai is not all that. I'm I'm not saying that she should not, uh, you know, say in Dubai there's not that. But I mean, educators, you understand. But let's wait and see. Educators, because she, she basically she was saying, uh, those things are just you know people that are hearing. They need to come to Dubai to see that Dubai is not all that because we know that Dubai Dubai has very strict rules. But now we'll, we'll let's wait and see. But I think she's she's also beautiful. She's also beautiful. That's that I cannot take from her. But for me, also who someone who's so beautiful is Sarah, Doctor Sarah. Sarah is so beautiful. She's she's the girl she thinks she is, right? Doctor Sarah, and she was she was born in Dubai. She was raised in Dubai. She says, "There's I I don't see myself living anywhere in the world," and wow. Okay, guys, and also I saw her with the children in the show. It's it's very interesting. I, I can't say much about them because there isn't really much that are shown about them. But I cannot wait to see what these women have in store for us. Well, thank you so much for, for watching my review. If you're joining for the first time, please click subscribe. Like this video and also share it to others. Well, because I was reviewing Dubai, that is why I was speaking with so much. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But other than that, <laughs> thank you so much and God bless you. <laughs>